This is Liz Walhop from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a course that you've built in Moodle and make a backup of it and save that backup to your computer should you ever need to move to a different instance of Moodle or restore your course from that backup. So I'm logged into a course that I have some rights on and I'm going to go down to the admin block and I'm going to choose backup. And then you see that I have the option of backing up the content that I put into the course as well as the content that the users put into the course. You may want the content from your users, from your students or participants, or you may not. If you just want a clean copy of all the material that you put into the course, on the right hand side above user data, you're going to click none. That'll clear out all the user data from the course. Um, so you don't have any participants' information, any of their responses to the forums, any of that. Sometimes it's nice to clear out user responses to uh, assignments, but maybe keep that user data for forums. So you can control how you want that to look. Then as you scroll down to the bottom, under users, I say no on the logs. That's going to be situations like uh, how when people submitted work, when they last logged in. For me, that's not so important on a backup. I may or may not want to keep the user files. If I just want a clean course, I'm going to say no. On course files, I'm going to say yes. And I really don't necessarily want to back up the roles for students. I want people who had been students in my course, if I'm just making a brand clean copy of it that I want to back up um, onto my computer, then I will take off the students. I want to keep myself as the course creator and my fellow teachers and so on. So when that's all done, I go down to the bottom and I say continue. This takes a little while for this backup to run, but it will next bring up a screen that looks like this. It gives you a name. Don't worry about changing your name here. It includes all sorts of information on what it is that they're doing. And then you say continue again. At this point, you can go get yourself a cup of coffee if you have a lot going on in your course, because it takes a little bit. OK, at this point, you get a whole bunch of information. That probably makes sense to somebody other than me. All I care about is that it says that the backup was completed successfully and that I can click Continue. What I like about that here then is that I have the option of, you can see that I've made several different backups here recently. Now at this point I could restore the course and if I chose to restore the course, I could restore it to, for example, a new course. So I could make a copy and give it a new name and so on. In this case though, I just want to download it onto my computer. So I click on the name of the course right here, and it pops open a little window showing that it's downloading it and showing how much longer I have left on that. So pretty much that's all you have to do to back up a course in Moodle.